As you can see, the markers I'm using for the motion capture, if they are bead shape, this makes motion capture much more effective. What I used are cheaters that are used for fishing. They're basically, they're, they're, they're kind of like beads, and I used an X-Acto knife to cut them in half and then painted them green. And then the fluorescent red ones are the ones I didn't paint. And then I just used double-sided tape to tape them to my face. And that made the job of motion capturing a lot easier and a lot more accurate. And what I have here are all the null objects have been motion captured and I'm going to go ahead and switch the video layer into screen so that we can see what the other layers here. So before I move the null objects into place and attach them to puppet pins, I want to make sure that the character drawing is close to the same angle as the video file. I'm starting, you know, at the very beginning, frame one, the reason this is important is I'm going to be moving the null objects. Okay, if I didn't need to move the null objects to fit the character, then the character's face would align with the angle of the video file. Because I'm going to be changing the position of the null objects, I want to make sure that the character drawing and the video face are as much at the same angle as possible. I'll go ahead and open up the image here. And I want to make sure all the layers are selected. Control T to transform tool. I'm going to angle it up a little bit and hit enter and hit save. So I'm, I'm changing the original image document. I go back into After Effects. I click on one of the image layers and right click on it and click Reload Footage. And you can see now that these are more in alignment. And so when I move the null objects to fit the new character face, the alignment will be similar enough to be accurate. Remember, you have the power to encourage me to make more of these when you hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I hope you have a great day.